many times when parents bring their children to me the behavior has become much worse there is biting scratching pushing destroying property self injurious behavior the symptoms have become so severe that the children cannot be managed safely at home nor they can be managed safely at the school although providers use many medications to treat autism there are two drugs ablify and risperidol which has been extensively researched and studied for their efficacy and safety the federal drug administration because of the studies has approved the use of risperidol and ablify for children with autism from the age 6 to 17 today i am going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using ablify and risperidol when i choose which one and the precautions and monitoring that are involved the two drugs are risperidone and aripiprazole these are the compound names their brand names are risperidol and ablify by which they are commonly known risperidon also called risperidol was the first drug studied in children with autism with aggressive behavior risperidol works great in terms of efficacy in research studies around half of the patient who received risperidol showed a reduction in their symptoms risperidol is a dopamine antagonist it works by blocking the activity of dopamine in the brain it can be used at dosage starting from 0.25 mg to a maximum of 6 mg in children one of the common side effect of risperidol is sedation and fatigue it is better to take them in the evening or before sleep other side effects of risperidol can be constipation abdominal pain headache risperidol can also cause weight gain this increased weight gain in children can put them at increased risk for diabetes hypertension hypercholesterolemia also recently risperidol has been in news and there has been lot of lawsuits regarding risperidol when risperidol blocks activity of dopamine there is an increased secretion of prolactin in the body the increased prolactin can cause enlargement of the breast or gynecomastia it can also cause in rare circumstances milk coming out of the breast called galactorrhea this can happen both in male and female long term use of risperidol can also cause abnormal involuntary movement this is called tardive dyskinesia and children has to be monitored for that sometimes the side effects can be irreversible in addition long term use of risperidol can cause elevated blood sugar and elevated lipids the second medication approved by the federal drug administration is ablify or also known as aripiprazole ablify is a partial agonist at the dopamine receptors which means that it partially blocks the activity of dopamine this is a newer drug and since it partially blocks the activity of dopamine there are fewer side effects associated with ablify ablify can be started at a low dose of 2 mg and can be titrated up to a maximum dosage of 30 mg ablify does not cause sedation and for many it is activating it can be taken in the morning common side effects of ablify are nausea vomiting abdominal pain dizziness akathisia and insomnia although ablify causes lesser side effects than risperidol theoretically ablify can cause all the side effects and needs careful monitoring like risperidol now as a psychiatrist the important question that i have to face when to choose ablify and when to choose risperidol now since ablify has fewer side effects why not use ablify for all children all children with autism are unique and there is no one size fit all approach some children respond well to risperidol and some children respond well to ablify and some do not respond to both and other medications have to be tried but there are certain guidelines that i follow in my practice if symptoms are less severe then ablify is my first choice also in my clinical practice i have seen that risperidol has a more potent and stronger effect than ablify in psychiatry i have seen that potency and side effects are many times related the drugs which are more potent also has more side effects for children who are bigger and stronger who has this aggression and self destructive behavior it is very hard to contain them they can put others at risk when they get aggressive especially for those children risperidol works very well
secondly many children with autism also have sleep problems in those cases risperidol is a better choice because risperidol one of its side effect is sedation and it helps them sleep at night if i use ablify for them then i many times have to add another medication for sleep but if i use risperidol then one medication will serve both the purpose also children who are already obese or are overweight or have hypertension or high blood glucose level ablify is always the better choice because of the fewer metabolic side effects if a patient is stable on risperidol and they have been stable for some time i also try to switch them to ablify because it has fewer side effects in the long term many times i am successful but many times when i try to switch them to ablify the aggressive symptoms come back and then i have to put them back on risperidol both risperidol and ablify the side effects are dose dependent the longer these medications are used and the higher dose they are used the more the chances of side effects routine blood monitoring is recommended for both to check the levels of blood glucose lipids cell count and prolactin it is also essential to watch for weight gain as children tend to gain more weight than adults and this puts them at risk for diabetes hypertension and hypercholesterolemia now three additional points about the use of medication first point there are many other medications used off label in children with autism i tend to use risperidol and ablify as my first choice as they are most studied and fda approved however many times these two medications does not work or they work partially that time i use other medications or combine them with ablify and risperidol since medication does not address the core symptoms of autism children with autism once they start doing well once they learn coping skills once they learn how to manage their anger and frustration in a healthy way many of them can come off the medication talk with your psychiatrist about lowering the dose of medication if your child has remained stable for a long time however remember lowering the medication dose can sometimes increase the problematic behavior once your child is on the lowest dose of medication and has been doing fairly well at home and school have a discussion with your psychiatrist if a trial is possible when your child can be managed and monitored without the medication remember there are risk associated with that many times when children come off the medication all the problematic behaviors can rebound i have helped families with autism to manage their children on a lower number of medication and on a lower dose of medication in some occasions i have been successful in taking the children off the medication completely but changing medication reducing the dose stopping a medication is very complicated and risky especially in children with autism be patient have faith in your child as children grow up many of the behavioral problems also decrease over time those can be good opportunity to lower the number of medication or give them a trial to come off the medication but never try to change medication or do any alteration yourself always take professional help all the changes in medication should be done under the medical supervision of a psychiatrist